Hey everybody, it's Rob from SonyRumors.net and today we're going to be giving you guys an overview of the Sony Tablet S that we have here. Now, uh, we had a chance to play around with the tablet in the new Sony store, so we're just going to give you guys a little quick overview of how the tablet works. Now, over here, as you guys can see, I'm accessing the main menu where all your, bra uh, where all your apps are listed, and you can actually go through your apps in a few different ways via alphabet. You know, you can alphabetize it or view most recent. And in order to add it to your home screen, all you do is you click and hold it down, click add to home screen or drag to home screen, and now you can place it on the tablet uh, screen. And as you can notice, you have multiple, multiple desktops that you can create with it. And so here, I'm just going to add it to the screen as well again. And then notice that we can just drag this around. And right on top there, you can actually add it to a quick list of shortcuts. But there, I just deleted the app by dragging in the top right corner. And here, for example, I'm going to jump into the Contacts app. And again, you can just click the letter that you want to jump to. And that button right there enables uh, multitasking for us. And here, our Wi-Fi was a little slow, so it's not so much the tablet doing it, but uh, just the Wi-Fi not catching up to us. So again, we're going to hit the, bot, uh, the button right there and jump between our different apps. And here we have the camera app. And here is the camera looking at us and jumping back to the front camera as well. So here, there we go. We can actually swivel around and take a look at uh, the different uh, photos that have been taken with it. And again, in order to ring up the home button, you just tap down there because there's no physical button for it. It's all on menu uh, for you. So again, here we have the different screens. I'm gonna quickly jump into a game here. We're gonna have Crash Bandicoot and I'm gonna continue with Crash. And there are the buttons right there. <laughs> and apparently I haven't played Crash in a while. But the whole purpose here really is uh, how fast really uh, this loads for us and then we can quickly bring up another one of the applications that we're in. For example, uh, the web browser right here. And there is our controls and you're going to notice that it actually has uh, text that it thinks that you're my input so you can quickly jump to those shortcut words as well making uh, typing uh, a lot easier. And we're going to have it actually go to uh, our own website and just see how fast it renders it and I do believe it's gonna bring up the mobile version uh, which it does but again you're gonna notice how fast uh, everything renders with it which is uh, quite amazing because we do have quite a bit of content on our website and here if you're noticing a little uh, issue with just the way the web browser is acting it's actually not the web browser but it is our own mobile theme that uh, <laughs> we need to get some coding uh, fixed so it is not the tablet S doing it. So here, yeah, it'll load that again. But again, we can jump between odd uh, different applications. And again, we're gonna quickly jump back into Crash Bandicoot and you're gonna notice how fast it brings us up. Now back to uh, the home screen. Here we have some different apps. And again, I'm gonna add this one to our screen right there. And so now we have a new page with it. And if I wanna kill that page, I can just drag it to another one of the screens or another one of the screens and within the screens you can uh, relocate these apps uh, wherever you want there within a grid fashion so you know you have your columns and rows and you can place them wherever you want and now uh, we're going to take the uh, tablet in vertical mode and again everything does uh, align with the gyroscope right there and so here for example we're going to bring up uh, their book application the reader application and read the alice book and it's gonna uh, load it for us and it's very much functions like uh, iBooks you know in uh, the iPad and iOS devices right there and this does work you know both in vertical and uh, landscape mode and so you can easily navigate between the pages and again the page effect is actually quite beautiful and really uh, smooth with it and so there's our quick overview of the Sony Tablet S Thank <laughs> you.